Benjamin Spike, Heine Bucher, and Matthias Briel from the Department of Clinical Epidemiology at the University Hospital Basel, have examined the efficacy and safety of SARS-CoV-2 vaccines in immune-weakened patients in a research project. So in Switzerland, there exists two long-time cohort follow-up studies for HIV-infected patients and patients with a solid organ transplantation. When the pandemic started in 2020, it was clear that we would like to do something to protect these vulnerable patients from a severe COVID uh, infection or complication. Therefore, we developed a trial platform that would allow to recruit patients as fast as possible once effective therapies or vaccines were available. When this was the case early in 21, we then implemented this trial as fast as possible and could vaccinate 400 patients for comparing whether the two vaccines were equivalent in protecting these patients. Specifically, the researchers compared the efficacy of the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines in the cohort participants. The advantage of this cohort-based observational study is that the researchers were able to access large amounts of data very quickly. They analyzed these, compared them with each other, and made decisive discoveries. So eight weeks after the vaccination, we invited the participants again, and we wanted to assess the antibody response. And what we saw is, was actually that it didn't really matter what kind of vaccine they received. So with the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine, they had a very similar antibody response. But what we actually saw was that there are very big difference in the patient population. So people living with HIV, they had a very high antibody response, what you can see here in the green box, uh, very comparable to the general population, while transplant recipients, they had a very low antibody response, as you can see here in the yellow box. And based on these results, we really recommended that these transplant patients are prioritized when uh, giving a third vaccination. The findings and achievements from this study were not only used for the past pandemic, but will also be incorporated into future research projects. The study platform that we have set up has already been used for further projects. In a follow-up study, we could show that transplant patients in particular benefited from a third vaccination. We would like to use our study platform also for other vaccines, like the new RSV vaccine that has never been tested in a larger group of patients with a weakened immune system, like patients with HIV or patients with a transplanted organ.